Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In yesterday's video, we went down to that aisle of motorhomes, and uh, I'm sure it's a pretty <laughs> long one here. Today, we're going down this aisle, and then we have one more here uh, that is kind of more specialized motorhomes. So, very excited about that. But first off, we've got the Emblem and the Vision XL. So, we've recently done a, a tour of this, just about the exact same unit, uh, including the interior. This is a 36A, and it does have that blue. Uh, accent color but let's check out the emblem and you can actually see you know right off we have aluminum bay doors of course you got a big old 26k chassis let's see uh, the the way that they line these is a little bit different right um, not necessarily better in my opinion just because i'm sure that would be very dirty but uh, it is a little bit of an upgrade of course and this guy this is i think this is a logan this has a blue accent in it and it's a 36U, so uh, they're asking 175, 235 for this guy. So let's check this out. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so this first, does have the overbunk. First thing I noticed is that the overbunk is so low that like I'm five seven and almost gonna smack my head. Joel definitely would smack his head if he didn't dunk. Yeah, I do love they use the big old windows uh, on this guy. Um, are these dual pane? Let's take a look. They're not dual pane, but that's that's okay. A lot of people are not full timers. Uh, a lot of tan in here. A lot of tan. Induction cooktop here, unlike yep. ours, which is just propane. Um, I don't like that your uh, <laughs> recliners get caught on your carpet on your slide. Yeah, that's that's interesting. That is definitely interesting. I, I think I like the layout itself, right? Very similar to kind of how ours is going to be, right? Especially with the TV and the fireplace and all that. Big, huge refrigerator here. That's a freaking tall refrigerator. That thing is massive. But uh, yeah, oh, almost got caught on that. Let's see. Got a half bath in here. You know, it's not the worst here. Oh, that wall is a lot more solid than whatever we were in one year. Tiffin, it was at Tiffin yesterday. This thing is freaking solid comparatively. You have storage back here, but um, yeah, I like that they, I kind of like that they, the way they did that, that's that's pretty okay. But this is the cheapest crap, I swear, guys. And uh, I like the, I kind of like the light sconces here. And a little backsplash there, that's fine enough. And if we fish our way out, what do we have here? Got some, a lot of storage there. I think this is a prep for a washer dryer combo. And a pantry, that's kind of nice. Okie dokie. Yeah, I have to shut that one first, apparently. And you got a lot of storage in this, a lot of storage. I find it interesting that the bedroom is so dark, which, you know, I can kind of appreciate, but unlike with the regular farmhouse, the bathrooms are actually lighter. Um, and they use a little ring around here. This is pretty, pretty big. It's pretty big, but again, they cheap out on the fans. What What is going on with that? That can't cost them that much. Um, but yeah, I like this cabinetry. I like really, uh, Ah, I don't mind that one bit. I, I like the, the white, but I wish they would have brought that kind of fossily white cabinetry all the way out. Uh, this this is pretty neat. Kind of, uh, kind of a darker vibe in here. I don't think we are the ideal clientele for this unit, but that's all right. All right, now, just looking at these guys side by side, obviously the Vision XL with the full body paint looks a lot better, but here's a 36C. This does not have the full body paint, but I think that this is actually going to look nicer for longer because we know that Jayco and Integra do not actually uh, paint their own coaches, at least not on the any of the gas lines, and um, I don't trust it. I, we're not the only people that have had issues with that. They don't actually, the company that they were using at least in 2022 did not prep the unit at all. They don't even scuff it, so, hmm. But let's, uh, let's come up here. This is a 36C, so similar kind of front front here but look at uh, I think this is kind of nice this is kind of uh, it's kind of cool how they have this right you have a televator over here four five four seats here this is kind of cool they do have the uh, Furion fireplace here that's okay I like that they didn't put a TV here but instead again put it over there I use the fireplace at all to slide in though and this walkway gets really tight to slide in I like the L shape one 58 274 for this guy kind of similar enough kitchen to what we already have you guys are familiar with that then looks like washer dryer options in here that's interesting how they're doing these doors because they huh, that's, that's interesting you have to put one side in first but the uh, this one i'm sure you, you could probably take all of this out 
It's very, uh, very unique how they did this. The other thing I noticed is that when you open this cabinet, it hits the vent. All right, big old fridge in here. You have a big old bed and bathroom back here as well. Yep, and this is kind of a lot like what we just saw. Although over the, the emblem obviously has a slightly nicer uh, shower, but uh, this one doesn't seem quite as wide as the other guy. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Not quite as wide, no. Good enough. Um, and I, I'm not going to quit complaining about these stupid fans. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one the Princess Bounder. This is the Southwind 35K. They're asking 194 for this. And you can see how they added some chrome instead of the black. And I'm going to say my preference is actually the regular Bounder space. But what do you think? Um, I think on this color scheme, it looks good. It looks okay. Good enough, I guess. Yeah. And they really bring the chrome up and back. Um, that looks fine. I like the red, black, and and gray color scheme. So we've seen the 35K, but this one is a little bit more unique when you look at the... <clears throat> the decorations in here. I don't know what's going on with these, uh, but they are a lot. That is a lot. And they brought that up here as well to tie it in. And It's definitely not a choice I would have made, but um, <laughs> they kind of tie it in. I didn't notice this before. Very bougie backsplash. They kind of tie it in. They put a pattern in the poles too. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that. Yeah, that's, that is a very interesting thing. But I, I do think, right, so we... We gave uh, the Integra crap, Jayco crap, really, because that's who's making it. Look at these nice fans, guys. Right over, you know. Cooktop. Right over the cooktop, yeah. Big old fridge in here. You got a perfect viewing position, right? And I like the I like the darker seats in here. Those are always very comfortable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of room, too. And I believe you also have a little USB. It's interesting that you have some extra space in here for whatever you need to put in here some blankets you know, i think whatnot. that up until this point it's about exactly the same as what our holiday rambler will look like yeah which is very nice and we uh the camera shut off so we got some time to let it cool down this is a nice tv this bathroom pretty good pretty good we uh, we've seen this you know i love this material for the the uh valances here but this is a little whack i don't know this is uh this is really something i don't know uh, and okay, bedroom is uh, you know we've seen this bedroom before. Uh, I like that they add the the little little piece of art. You do have a combo option here if yeah. you want to install a washer and dryer. Uh, we know how well they do with the two tone. Love that one piece fiberglass shower. A really big skylight here. Really good ventilation. There's no window in this one. I find that interesting. There is no window. Uh, but they line they line everything perfectly well and very. Very sturdy residential feeling, Pl plenty of room. Guys, it's a 35K. Uh, personally, I wouldn't pay for the Southwind myself, but. I'm pretty sure this is the most popular layout that exists in. For motor homes and, yeah. You got trout door TV. Yeah, not a bad unit here, but we've got a Fleetwood Fortis. Let's check that out. Now, they do sell a lot of the uh, Integras here as well, if that's something that you're interested in. Uh, looks like we've got two Fortises. Portai. Portai. Let's go to this bunk model because this is pretty pretty decent. Now, unlike with the bounders, south winds, whatever, you have the fiberglass doors. Now they are slam latch, which I like. And they're using like a rotocast or something like that. But the difference here, they are still plumbing in heat, which I like. I, I can really appreciate that. Uh, these doors are not quite as thick as, you know, that's what, that's what I'd like to see, but this is the model 36db 36db and, and i like this paint this paint scheme and how aggressive this is we've talked about uh the fortis and the two videos ago i believe it was looks like five steps up nice bright interior the way they do the bunk here is definitely a little bit different uh doesn't doesn't seem quite as nice quite as robust i think that's one of the fold down bunks instead of a lift that might very well be this is uh, what is this? Less comfortable. Less comfortable. Ooh, it's than a lot me. stiffer here. Yeah. But, um, you know, compared to some, those is still pretty all right. Um, I love the pattern of the backsplash. Again, not quite as finished off, but you're also paying 186 for this. So you know, it's okay. I don't like the farmhouse sink. I do. Um, I like this countertop. It is very nice. I, I can just see myself scratching the heck out of it. Improper use. Uh, this is interesting. Very similar to the 36A. The way they were doing. 
that but if you look at the 36a and then you look at this this looks way nicer significantly nicer and they finish it up the tv on a door instead of just like by itself right uh way way nicer i like the little bit of art here uh this fridge is smaller than others we've seen uh, including you know especially for a uh, unit with the the bunk but they do give you a little pantry space so maybe that's the trade-off there i like that they've, they've got a semi-opaque the semi-opaque doors here and their magnetic sliding doors it looks like they lock in somehow interesting rolling system i think i'm gonna probably prefer ours i like the doors being semi-opaque you do have some windows in here i think enough beds actually these are not terrible terrible beds and three drawers on the bottom here which is pretty good the seat situation here it's up on a pedestal uh it's kind of uh, a little different i'm gonna say it's a gravity toilet a little shove in here which is cool uh they didn't put as much money that not as much of your uh, the price is going into this bathroom it's really something I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this but you know the shove is good if you have little kids sleeping in the bunk yeah the way they did this whole thing plenty of drawers here uh and when this slide because there's opposing slides right this unit has three it has one over here one over here and then this is all one large slide here uh between the the closet and the bunk it's a lot it's a very wide walkway here and i love these floors it's really nice floors the you can see the wipe seal right here it's kind of uh, iffy and the way that they did the windows all the way around the bed i like that but i'm never going to be like in bed looking out that window so you know pros and cons this this bathroom seems a little lot more cramped so you get the shower two-piece shower you get a porcelain throne and a full washer dryer like separate which is kind of it's kind of cool um i am noticing a lot more of this like it's it's um that composite material uh it, it's sprinkled here in and out uh, the finishes in this unit are just not quite as nice uh if it were me especially at the the sales that you can get on some of these rigs i wouldn't buy the fortis i would really go up to the bounder or go up to the vacation or myself yeah the, the finishes just aren't aren't where they should be but i would just spend out a little bit more especially if you're gonna full time like um uh, yeah yeah but i do i do love that uh rev group actually does all of their own paint in house so when it comes to a full body paint i think you're getting a lot more value here than you would with the so the integras or, or whatnot and here's another little fortis here uh this guy has a kind of a green accent so of course emma loves it michigan state the door is right in the center here, so you've got, you've got a TV up front. It's a 32RW. 32RW, they're asking 172, 491. Kind of, even with the slides out, kind of a smaller walkway here, but uh, you can't swivel those around. This is pretty interesting how they did this. They didn't do two separate windows, they did one window over here, so I appreciate they at least gave you the window. Uh, I like this backsplash a lot better. Uh, less counter space here. This is interesting. Uh, more, more, yeah, well, there's that. Yeah, simple bathroom. And then for the rear bedroom, like, yeah, they give you a lot of features in here, including, this is very interesting to me, a full washer and dryer in here. And the way that they do this closet is kind of funny. See, they still line even in the Fortis. I really like that. But I mean, you got your bed. Uh, it's very, very nice. Lots of drawers. Lots of drawers. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Oh yeah, very individual drawers. See, it looks like they have something on the outside that they they need to take up some room for. So yeah, not a bad unit. Um, yeah, I really personally, I'd step up to like the bounder myself, but uh, I can see the appeal. All right, now here we are with the Tiffin Allegro Open Road. This uh, what model is this? I think this is a thirty-six uh 36 something or other and uh let's see and it's got the white gray white gray and black i believe it is oh white gray and gold so this is actually a model that we had considered it's one of the 36 i want to say it's like the 36 sa or something to that effect but uh we've seen this very recently if you remember but this one's a little different so we have that front tv here it's pretty nice again we like the wood tone but uh I yeah, like I don't want to paint it within a year. Well, ninety nine four oh five. Yeah, you don't want to get one of these and then immediately start painting it. But uh, the big difference with this guy here are these bunks. 
So and, 36 UA. Uh, 36 UA, that's what it was. And interesting, this hinge mechanism they've got going on here. A little bit smaller bunks here, uh, spunk windows rather. Uh, but they do, I believe they do flip up. There we go. And uh, you can lock those in and they give you a hanging rod there. So that's kind of nice, very cabin vibes here. A uh, lot of space in here. You can see that. And I, they give you three windows, which I can, I really like. I like the wind, the, I like the way they do their windows here. See a one piece shower. Cow, they got the shower miser. That is something Fleetwood, if you're watching this, please install that in ours. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, they do have at least two good fans, two good fans. We've talked about this, uh, over cab bunk, the, the Heidel loft deal, um, not quite as nice. And again, I think that, um, it's a nice unit. It's a really nice unit. It's like one more Tiffin here. I like this paint a lot better. I think it looks a lot better darker. I don't know if they do their own paint here. But it's pretty good. See, they have a they have a darker interior on this one. Let's take a look at that. Oh, interesting how they have kind of a mirrored surface here. That's unique. That is very, very interesting. And yeah, we got a lot more grays, darker woods. I'm not a fan of the tan myself, but you know, here's that kind of weird position with the TV. This one's 204, 853 this on a gas is like <laughs> this is a very unique floor plan look at this this is something um i don't hate this though i i, I don't know how usable it's kind of hard to picture how usable this would be with the slides in and personally i don't want to be running the slides in out here <laughs> you know on all these rigs but this is uh this is definitely it's definitely a, a little slider. nicer it's what there's only a lot of slides here. You can leave a lot of space besides them. So I like this material, this glass and the pattern, but you do see the green light there and I, it looks and you cool. Got two over here. But I wonder how odd, like how annoying would that be at night? I, maybe, maybe not. But uh, yeah, I gotta say, I, I definitely prefer this over that kind of blonde or orange wood. Another open road, but ooh, they have Phoenix Cruisers here. Now these are very high quality units. Let's take a look at some of these. All right, I'm gonna show you these two Phoenix Cruisers because I like these two paint jobs the most and they're very different layouts. So uh, it looks like this one's 165. Uh, very interesting unit. Now they, they're all fiberglass bodies and I mean, they're, they're solid here and you can actually see the door. That's a, that's a pretty thick door here. Kind of, uh, kind of reminds me somewhat of the Lazy Days, uh, the aesthetic, the feel here. Uh, this door is very, very different. It's got kind of a curve, so it's a very aerodynamic for being on an Econoline chassis, very aerodynamic comparatively. This is sort of an older feel here. There's no bed up front, but you do have a TV. Um, that's a lot of carbon fiber there. Um, that was a lot, but a lot of these are on the Quigley 4x4. This one is not, but um, a lot of these are configured with that. You got a lot of individual chairs. This is a very compact unit. It's, it's comfortable enough. This is on a slide, but I think a lot of the older Phoenix cruisers were not. You got a little sink and galley here. You know, you got enough of your, your cooking in. And it's kind of hard to get a, a good sense for the space, but there's not a lot of... Anybody taller than like six foot two could not stand up in here. Yeah. This little fridge is kind of cute. It's a, I don't even want to call it an apartment fridge, but <laughs> it'll, it'll do the trick. I mean, this will get you. They so built a little spice rack into your cabinet. Oh, your that's kind of nice. Yeah, they use a lot more woods in here. And this guy is a twin bed. Ugh. This guy's a twin bed. Oh, it's a mag. It's a magnet. That's kind of cool. That twin bed unit here and uh the, they're kind of at variable distances so they're the same length but they're kind of farther out one's cockeyed compared to the other yeah you got a lot of storage adjustable shelves nice windows i do like that and the bathroom's right back here and it's a very modest bathroom uh, i kind of wish this was a little bit wider here two-piece shower um uh, yeah very modest uh your headboard kind of looks like is, this is pretty nice the way they routed this uh, but it's real wood it definitely is real wood so you wouldn't have the same issues but you get a, a decent amount of space in, uh, in a pretty small chassis i think this is only 26 feet 27 feet something like that i don't want to call it like the scamp of class c's but it's kind of the scamps kind of 
Accurate. Kind of a scamp, a class C's, yeah. Very yeah. interesting. But let's check out the next one because it's a, a different wood. And a lot of these are this blonde wood here. And we got this guy. So it's got a, light, a lot brighter of a blue here. Yeah, interesting little door fairing that they got going on there. So but let's go in on in here. <laughs> yeah, it feels very different. Uh, it's more of a gray. More of a gray here. One thing that I find most fascinating, this one's coming at about 140. Uh, you got your nice window. It's very cozy. I don't believe this is going to be usable with the, the slide in. Yeah, it's a flip up bed. So uh, not not a winner in my book. But look at this. I haven't seen these since uh, I think a Terry travel trailer from 1996 is the last time I saw these. Uh, but you can see that beadboard and I mean, there, it's a bathroom. It'll it'll do the, the job, I guess. Yeah, there we are. Hmm. And a very small little Norcold here, um, but yeah, I mean, it's all here for the most part on a smaller scale. This would be good for a couple, two people. Yeah, yeah, really I'd, comfortable. I'd say so. Could you take this out to courtside? Absolutely. Could you boondock the way that we do? No, no, surprisingly, right? Um, it's kind of the dollhouse of class C's, I think. Of. but it, it is, a, it, they definitely use some nice materials. Um, yeah, I can see they wrap it, but it's, uh, they'll, they'll, like some of these are just like little stickers that they wrap the wood with. They do a good enough job of that, but it is still real wood on a lot of this. And then they do a nice soft touch there. Now, if you guys are looking for a class B van, they have them, um, they have them here. And one of the interesting things is like, not only can you get like a pop top or no pop top or, or a longer base van, whatever, um, but they can also customize them because a lot of people are lifting these and they're adding winches and, and all sorts of lighting and whatnot. Uh, but they can actually do that here and wrap it into the deal, which I find kind of interesting. That's awesome. Yeah, so if uh, if that's something that appeals to you, definitely definitely look at that. I think they call it Van Up or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so uh, definitely take a look at that. But they have just about every, every single unit you could think of. And we uh, touched on yesterday how um, a lot of these vans will have so it how it has the generator uh, down low and you can't go over a speed bump without hitting that you would have won 100 percent smack your generator uh, on a speed bump well in that case definitely definitely get uh, that lift kit if this is something that you're interested in or just pull the generator out and sell it but uh, definitely get that lift kit some bigger tires because nothing looks dumber than a lifted van and no no tires and then honestly, if you're gonna do it, you know, get those KO2s and get a get a, at least a rear locker. We'll end on this guy. We've seen this one before. It's a National Parks van. Um, looks like it's about 109, something like that. About 110,000 National Parks Foundation. It's got a pop top, which is really cool. I like the fridge cover here. They got a lot of 12 volts and uh, USBs. I really like the top, kind of the topo table here. The, the finish on these seats is really nice, but. You know, for being a Winnebago, this is really nice cabinetry. This and the Echo are really great. Got your... <laughs> you've got a little ventilation up there, which is great. A little pop top and a little cooktop. You've got a sink, some spices and soaps and whatnot. Of course, you've got your bed back here with zip-ups. You can lift all that up. You have more storage for a bike. And then you do have a bathroom here. It looks like it's a wet bath. But it's, you know, it is enough. And I, I do, I think my favorite part about these Winnebago's is their little Winnebago logo coat hanger. I think that's adorable. In the next video, we're going to take a look at more unique and specialized motorhomes. Um, they're still class A's, but um, if you have accessibility needs, wheelchair needs, things like that, uh, which personally, if I were in a wheelchair, and I've talked about this a lot, um, I would live in a tiny house or a tiny RV mm -hmm. uh, for sure. You know, something that meets the needs, but you don't have to, you know, because regular houses are really tall. Um, and I think that living, you know, living tiny uh, affords you all of the same amenities that you would need, um, especially if you're at a campground and hooked up, but a lot more accessible. So we will take a look at a few of those in the next video. And thanks for watching guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.